Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Jean here from Jean, uh, from True Love Quotes for you. I say it's a good morning. I'm just checking in with my friends on YouTube because we have a situation. Um, oh, it could only happen to us. Got to keep smiling though. Got to keep positive. Um, I don't know if you guys have uh, heard about the um, what is it, the hurricane? ICSs or whatever it's called. I don't know. It hit the Carolinas in, in here in America. Well, we we got um, long story short, we got rain here. Um, I'm filming this on a Tuesday. I don't know what day it is. Tuesday, or Wednesday, whatever it is. Um, we got rain here um, starting around four o'clock this morning. Um, it's what time is it now? It's about four in the afternoon here, um, and we were flooded. We got, we got, we were watching <laughs> the floodwaters rise in our, in our lovely home that we've just moved into. <laughs> and if, again, if you're interested, I have a story <laughs> and, um, you guys like my stories, but this isn't a very good story. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, we are living in a home that my son had bought, um, three, three and a half years ago. And the property, and I think I have shown you um, in other videos, the, the beautiful property we have here. It's a beautiful home. Um, it, the house is about uh, seven, 60 or 70 years old. Um, brick built home um, in five acres. And about um, 100 yards away, there's a small creek. Uh, well, in 19, I believe it was 1970 or 75, the people, the, the, the original owners had been living here for 35 or 40 years or whatever it was. Um, and they were used to the creek overflowing its banks and flooding. And we're sort of in a dip here. There is a 110 year old bridge right up the road. It's a real beautiful picturesque bridge that we go up and walk and see the, 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 the lovely little creek <laughs> flowing by. Well, the people who had lived here, um, they had they were used to the, the creek overflowing its banks and coming up. Well, there was a storm about, let me see, five, about eight years ago. It wasn't hurricane, it wasn't Superstorm Sandy, which it was funny, Superstorm Sandy decimated the entire East Coast. Um, it was a storm before that or, or after that or something, um, a smaller storm. Actually, they, they were prepared. They were prepared. They got everything up, the basement, the basement, there was nothing. They have more of a, we have a, a cinder block basement. They got everything up and they went to bed. Well, they were, because they're used to these storms, they, they were awoken um, at, uh, early in the morning to banging on their door from the um, fire department saying, get out of your house now. What? And they, <laughs> the husband and wife, they got out of their bed in that room onto um, about seven inches of water. The flood, unbeknownst to them in the night, had filled their seven and a half foot high basement ceiling and come, this is a one floor home, had come up seven, eight inches into the whole floor here um, and was rising to about a foot. This entire area was underwater pretty much. Um, they were an older couple and um, she sadly just passed away. And what they did is they did not have the resources to fix their home, this home, this property. And they left, they left the home and the house had sat for, with all of their, all of their clothing in the, most of their clothing here, they just left. They were so upset. Um, they were, they had another property somewhere up in the mountains. They just left it for five years and um, it was to be torn down. It was, um, to, uh, it was a deemed, de 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 deemed um, a disaster, whatever. And it was, it sat, this property sat the five acres for five, six, five solid years. Um, nobody, nobody in their right mind was going to touch this property. Well, along comes our son, who's a builder and actually got the property for a song and said, yeah, we'll have it, we'll redo it. And so three and a half, four years ago, 
he and his team came in, rip, ripped up everything. Everything here is new, from the drywall to the ceilings, the new roof, the new flooring, the new uh, retaining walls outside, new everything. Um, renewed the entire property. Uh, obviously new appliances, they reconfigured some of the rooms, um, put in a new bathroom, all new bathrooms. The whole, the whole building has been uh, renovated to make it livable. And so the township is like, great, super. So it's been a lovely property for the last five years. Well, when they lived here, they did have um, flooding. Not, not significant, but enough to, enough to um, be a concern. Well, Don, um, our son Dominic, he was saying he was going, when he was living here, um, as of six months ago, he was going to raise this house. Now, <laughs> this is a 2,300 square foot home on one level. And he said, oh, he has a house mover uh, come and look at the property. And they, they come in and they jack the house up and they put in big I-beams and then they put in cribbing. It's like a Jenga. And then they leave it and then you come in and build all your foundations and everything. So we moved here in January of this year, January 10th of this year. And I was going through a tremendous amount of um, stress with selling our other house. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're not, you're not raising my house. I like, forget it. Like all of this stuff, all I have, um, I was like, that just put me over the edge. And so he, he and his wife were like, okay, okay, okay. And um, every, every time it rained, it was fine. It was fine because it was like, what happened, it, there's a hundred year storm and a 500 year storm. What flooded this house apparently was a 500 year storm. Well, we've had two of them since. <laughs> we've had two 500 year storms. The weather is crazy. So this morning at four o'clock in the morning, I woke up and um, I said to Ian, he, he, he sleeps this, he sleeps beautifully. I don't sleep. I wake up and I'm like, <gasps> you know, we have things in our basement, the basement that flooded, <laughs> that was filled with water. We have things and now it's sort of, it has a, um, it's not a nice basement. It's a concrete basement, but it has a trench around it and a sump pump that runs continually. And it hasn't had a drop of water in it. Interesting. Um, so we have, we have the things that I did not get rid of. Um, some china and some crystal and some things down there, some furniture and some pictures, um, painting some rugs in our basement up on shelves in big, big uh, rubber made containers up on shelves. But still, our basement is filled with things that I just couldn't part with. And um, we keep checking the basement. I'm like, Maxwell. So I woke everybody. I woke Maxwell and Ian up like, go check the basement. It's dry as a bone. It's fine. Well, I will put pictures up. <laughs> because w the, 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 the bridge and the creek completely broke its banks, overflowed. And we called, we called our son and he came very, he lives about 15 minutes away. He came very quickly um, as our landlord. I'm like, I, we don't own the house, we rent it. Landlord. And um, he came and he's, he's, he's a tough cookie. He's sitting there in his Jeep and he said, we're watching. We're watching the floodwaters just make our property a swimming pool, three foot of water. And it was, it, it was so much rain there was so much rain that came down. Look on the news, this area. There was so much rain that we were watching it just come up. And it came to about, it was, it was about three foot deep, and it came to about six foot away from our front door. And our backyard, where you've seen me sit out in the back with a pretty deer and everything, was a, was a, was a lake. It had just, it was a, it was a lake. And it got to the point where it, my husband and Maxwell, Maxwell was a trooper, I'll tell you. Um, and our son were like, mom, you know, you have a, an emergency bag, which I, we've had packed, my, my, uh, my go bag. He said, um, you take the van, uh, we have two vehicles. Well, my husband has a vehicle, we have three vehicles. He says, you take our van and you go over to our daughter-in-law's house. Just go, just go, pack your bags, um, take your toiletries, take everything and you, you just go. And I'm like, I just said a prayer and I said, okay, I'm out of here, our lovely home. Um, I had taken pictures of it at not its worst. I'll put them up. <laughs> I thought, oh, well, here goes my lovely sewing room. <laughs> oh. And um, I'm trying always to be positive and remain like, oh, the sun is, the sun is shining now. I was like, 
a nervous wreck. I got in the car and I'm like, I'm out of here. And I said, please, um, our area is prone to flooding. So there's four ways out of this little area here. Um, three were closed. Uh, our road, I had to go through the barricades and there was one road out to the main road that I could get to. They're like, quickly get out of this area. Um, and they were, if it was going to come up, they were going to be right behind us. But they had put some, um, they put some markers on the driveway. They were just, they just sat and watched the floodwaters come. Within minutes, it was minutes that Dominic had come and we're sitting there <laughs> and the floodwaters are coming up <laughs> and swirling. And it was interesting because the township has on its itinerary for like the last 30 years to redo the, the old crumbling bridge, little tiny little bridge over the, the, the river here. They've had it on their books to do. Well, it's a priority that they widen this and put, you know, make the creek big, bigger and whatever. And that has been on their books and they haven't done it yet. Um, I think literally from the last storm that flooded this home. Anyway, um, I got in the car. Uh, oh, oh, what I was saying is, excuse me, I'm a little bit nervous. There was, from the township, there was uh, five huge, great, big, um, telephone poles, trees, telephone poles, in a ditch that I guess the Pico, our energy company, was going to be putting up sometime. They've been sitting there for years. They were here, they were here before the, our kids moved here. They were here, these big, huge, great big things, just in the ditch. Um, I think we're low on the priority list, obviously. Well, we're watching these five massive, huge, great big telephone poles this wide around, just float off, just float through our front yard across the way, across the street. And it was so funny because it was, it, was a, it was a raging flood, like you see in televisions, like movies. It was a raging flood in our front. And, and the roads are closed off, barricaded. Don't, what, do you, what do you expect to happen? We're sitting there, hands out with an umbrella. We're, we're, sitting, we're watching this flood water. What are you going to do? And I'm um, debating, you know, we've got to get to higher ground. Um, that, that, sure enough, there's like a dozen um, four-wheel drive trucks like oh I could go through that and we were like that's five foot of water right now that is rushing you will go, you will, you'll drive to your death so then they were turning around at the, we have a we have a turnaround driveway we have a u-shaped driveway they had to go to the top of our driveway and turn around and we're like we're like why are you trying to do that it's all it's because we live in a quiet wooded area but we the road is a busy road to get to the main roads so they're like, oh my goodness, that road was closed, that road was closed, that road was closed. We're like, you got one road out of here, that's it. Um, but all these trucks, like, turning around, and at one point Ian was, hon uh, Dom was honking his horn, like, don't go. The guy was like, I th like a young guy, like, oh, I can get through there. <laughs> like, you're going to drive to your death. It was terrible. It was terrible. Anyway, I, I at, at the one point, uh, we were watching out front, like this raging river. <laughs> I come out my sewing room which is right here, and the water's right here. <laughs> and I said, okay, I'm out of here. I said a prayer. I said, you guys be safe. You come, there's two vehicles, three vehicles here. And um, I got my van and I went over to our daughter-in-law's. She had a nice hot cup of tea waiting for me. I needed a drink. I didn't, I don't drink though. And, and, and um, so, so sweet, so very kind. And um, obviously we have tons of places to go. Um, our other, we were on a WhatsApp with all of our kids, all of our family, um, and our one son, he, they did lose their home 50, uh, uh, 17 years ago to a flood. So they raised it five foot. We're in a flood prone area. They raised their home five foot, but they, he sent me a picture. He said, Creek life, <laughs> the creek is coming up. And um, it, 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 it's just, it's just crazy because as you know, yesterday yesterday I did a, a video like, I'm all so happy, <laughs> all positive. We're living in our lovely home. So Do and so our son Dominic, he said, Mom, I'm gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna raise the house. It, he's gonna pull the trigger and he's gonna get it done. And I uh, I was like balking at that, like, oh no, please. <laughs> it's a huge, huge project. But he's like, no, it's not. These guys do it. You know, they do it like that. I guess we're getting old. We're losing our nerve. And I'm thinking, oh no. So obviously we'll go somewhere while they raise our house. He said, well, I was going to have it raised 10 foot. Well, I'm only having it raised 6 foot. 
And then he was talking to people and they're like, yeah, six foot would do. The moving company. It's huge, great big. I've seen homes raised, but they're two-story homes. And this is 2,300 square foot on one big footprint. I don't know how they're going to do that. I, I don't know how they're going to do that. Anyway, that's going to happen. Um, I suppose I will be out of commission. Um, but, oh, oh, but a bright thing is my weekender bag, I actually used it. I'm like, oh, I have somewhere to go. <laughs> I'm fleeing to the mountains. And I'm, I packed all my little toiletries and all nervously and everything. And I'm like, oh, my word. And I'm thinking, do I take my sewing machine? And then I thought, Jean, stop, 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 stop. This is just stuff, right? <laughs> but it's my stuff. This is the last of my stuff. And I'm thinking, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's underwater. But we didn't get a drop of water in our basement. I came back because Dom came home to his house and um, where I was and he's like, Mom, you can go home now. It's receding. It, it receded pretty, well, pretty much as quick as it, as it came. Um, but the ground here is soaked and it will happen again because we're not, as I said the other day, we're not getting gentle rainstorms. We are getting these floods. Our one son is a, um, well, two or three of our sons are um, uh, public adjusters. And they, he had 50 claims as of two hours ago. Um, in the last three hours, he had f over 50 claims. Um, trees down. And, and there's a hospital right up the road. And it was in the paper that a tornado, we are not in Tornado Alley, a tornado struck in the, at the hospital and... Um, it blew the corner of the hospital roof off, or took the corner of the hospital roof off, and you see, you see um, 10 cars just being picked up and dropped in the, car, in the parking lot of the hospital, 10 minutes away. Tornado. So we were saying, we don't live, as I was saying, we don't live in, a, um, we don't live in hurricane places. We're pretty safe. We don't, uh, when we have snowstorms, we have bad snowstorms, but our area is is um, prepared for them. We have plows and salt trucks, and we, you know, you get you, sn you get snowed in happily, and then you are on the road in the next day or so. We get a lot of snow here when we get snow. Um, we have gotten flooding. Um, it's a bit of a flood-prone area, but all all sort of doable. But this one, I was like, oh my word, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm thinking. So I packed my I packed my new bag. <laughs> and um, I said to Maxwell, do you want to come? And he's like, no, 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 he was a trooper. I said he, he was a trooper. But they're like, if it gets real bad, or obviously, there's one way out. That's it. Um, forget it. Forget it. We deal with it. But we don't have to deal with anything right now. But our son is going to be um, arranging to have this house raised. Massive, massive, massive project. I don't know what it entails. I was like, my nerves were shot. I was texting Jen and Malia and our children, and they were going through things, and Jen has her basement flooded, and their creek, they, they live behind a park. Their creek was running and coming up. Everybody was in the same boat in this area, um, in the Pennsylvania, Philadelphia area. It was really bad. So all my positivity yesterday, <laughs> I went out the window. <laughs> I'm like, no. Uh, anyway, um, it's, it's the sun is shining. His son is beautiful. It's like glorious. Oh, um, our son Dominic, he took a picture. He was here. We have a herd of deer. You know my deer, my little friends here. I'm feeding them corn and everything. They come to me now. Um, th there were seven of them that were trying to get, they were panicking. They were trying to go across the, this raging river right out here. And Dom and the, my husband are like, no, no, no. The little fawns were like, oh, no, don't. So they sort of pushed back into our woods. Um, but our whole yard, our whole yard, our barn, except the barn didn't, it didn't quite come up to the barn or our, our new little addition that we're putting on the barn. Um, but it was right here. It was right here under the, right here on the, um, on the deck and, um, right under the deck here. Uh, it's about three foot down to the ground from the deck. Anyway, so that's my, that's my little saga for the day. Um, and I guess weeks to come. I'll see what it entails. Dominic's like, oh, they... They, they do it quickly, and I'm thinking, well, how, much, how quickly can they do it? I don't know what it entails, but I will, I will, I'm going to take my camera and my little tripod, wherever I am, and my computer, and let you guys know. Uh, get, let you guys know. I'm here. Everything is fine. The sun is shining. It's beautiful. Um, but this morning was, wow, <laughs> stressful. I thought, oh, there goes our house. We just moved here. 
come back old house, all is forgiven. <laughs> I would say to the, the new owner, like, move over. We got plenty of room in this house. We never had that in this trouble. Um, but anyway, Dom's like, that's why we have insurance, Mom. And it, very, very pragmatic, very, very realistic. Like, it's okay, don't worry about it. But I'm like, oh, my word. Wow, not for the faint of heart. Um, but again, like I say, we've, we're, we're having these 500 100 year floods every three days, it seems. Anyway, I just thought you guys, I wanted to apprise you, my friends out there, um, what's going on. I'm a bit stressed. I had a good day yesterday. Oh, I did come home and um, my husband and Maxwell were here and I came in. The cars are here. And I'm like, it was dead quiet. I'm like, hello, hello. I went out back. I'm like, Ian, Maxwell. And then they were in their beds, in sound asleep. I mean, the stress. They just took to their beds, and I'm like, oh, sorry. And uh, Ian's like, Ian's like, I just have to sleep for an hour and a half or so. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this poor guy, because he was out there documenting it, you know, foot by foot by foot by foot by foot by foot by foot. That was scary. That was scary. The pictures that I'm going to put don't even show it at its worst. It came right up. So anyway, but it's gone now. Um, most of it, our ground is sodden, of course. And we will see what we do next, uh, the next, the next stage, the next plan. But I'll let you guys know. And again, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in, and I hope you are all safe. I know this is happening all over the place, and falling branches and trees and flooding and oh, terrible windstorms are terrible. So please, on top, on top. I thought August was going to be quiet. <laughs> August is coming like a lion, right? Oh, my word. So if the water doesn't kill us, the virus will. Oh, my word. Anyway, keep, keep, keep positive. Keep safe. We have our lives, and we have each other. So um, just um, look after each other. And my sign, don't look back. You're not going that way. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Anyway, um, have a lovely day, folks, and uh, keep healthy and safe. See you later. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.